It's your boy Sorcheski here with another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing our quiz remediation. Let's get started. All right. If I look at this function, A would be negative 1. That means I'm going to have a reflection. So I'm just going to write that down already. H, anyone know what H would be? It would be negative 2. What would K be? Negative 3. N is 2. So it's going to look like a square root, except upside down because it's reflected. Center would be at negative 2, comma, negative 3 because the center is always at H, comma, K. So let's graph this, and then we will talk about domain and range. Negative 2. Negative 3 is right here. And then it's reflected, so it's going to look like that. Now, the domain, remember domain is left and right. So how far left can it go? Negative 2 in a bracket. How far right does it go? Infinity. Thank you, Janet. Nice. Range is up, down, left, right. This is a little tricky when it's reflected. Because the first question you want to ask yourself is how far down does it go? How far down does it go? <laughs> negative infinity. So here we actually start with negative infinity. How far up does it go? No. Negative two. No. Negative three. I almost made a mistake there. And then I can use the starting point to talk about the shifts. So that would go left, two, down, three. All right, let's do one more. Number two, changing colors for fun. What is A? 2. What is H? What would H be? It would be positive 2. What would K be? 2. So our center point, or starting point in this case, technically, would be where? H comma K, so it would be at 2 comma 2. I will finish this video. Look for it on my channel. Okay, back to our video. In the next problem, we're going to... Graph this. Here we go. <laughs> this video is going to be weird. All right, 2, 2. And it doesn't matter too, too much if your graph looks perfect, but it'll look something like that. Domain would be from 2 to positive infinity. Range, oh, would also be from 2 to positive infinity. Transformations. Um, since A is 2, we have a stretch of 2. Since our center is at 2, 2, instead of 0, 0, we went right, 2, up, 2. All right, next problem. Um, center here, I'm no longer going to be identifying A, H, K, and N. But n is 4. Um, h would be 5. k would be 3. Five, three would be here. And essentially, it'll look something like that. Um, 
Domain would be 5 to infinity. Range would be 3 to infinity. And I am going to pause the video again. I will see you when I come back. Actually, real quick, transformation would be uh, right, 5, up, 3. And we're going to pause there. What's up? Sricheski's back. We paused the video, but we're back now. So let's take a look at number four. Um, four. So A. What's A? A. Okay, Daddy Mart. Thank you. You're gonna be on the video now. What's A? One. Why is it one? Because it is. There's nothing there. When there's nothing there, it's a one. What is N? Two. Damn, Charlene. Let other people answer. Wait, this is all going to be on the video. Shoot. What is H? Careful. Careful. That is correct. What is K? No. Negative five. Any questions? Hold on for a moment. Those of us who are thinking. I know. I'm not going to do the problem on the quiz for you, Jimena. She's like, you gave me the wrong paper. The problems are different. I know. This is going to be the greatest video ever. All right. So what is the center? What is the center? Five and negative five. Let's go. Finish. No. Wait, negative five. Yes. Negative five. Negative five. Now, Rosario, escúchame por favor, silencio. Si. This is going to be the dumbest video ever. Anyways, listen. Once you know the center, put the center down. So where does the center go? Does it go here? No. No, where does it go? Si. Aquí. Mira. Now, it's a square root. Look at the left side of the board. That means it's going to have the general shape of this because there's no reflection. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now, Himana, I forgot your name for a second. The domain is left, right. All possible X values. See? So, how far left does it go? Here. What's that x value, Jimena? Negative 5. You put a bracket around that. How far to the right does it go? Ladies, it's too loud. Infinity. Parenthesis. Range. Leslie. How far down does this graph go? What is that y value? Negative 5. Let's get it. Ashley, are you just giving everyone the answer? How far up does it go? Ashley, B. How far up does it go, Ashley? Or does it ever stop? It never stops. So where does it go eventually? Yes. Positive infinity. So, transformations. Okay. Is there an A value that is not 1 or is A 1? A is 1, so there's no shrink or stretch. All right, so remember, the mother function starts in the middle. So if the mother function starts in the middle, where did this get moved to? Give me directions. Left, how many? Then what? Up or down? Down, how many? Five. We're done. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. That's it. All right? And then I'm pausing this video because this video is going to be absolutely terrible. Quiet, please. I'm still recording, guys. I'm still recording. My YouTube channel is going to be... No one's going to view this video. What's A? Good. Leslie, what is H? Or, I'm sorry, what is N first? What's N? 
N. If there's nothing there, be careful because it's not one hint. It's two. Charlene, nice work, yo. It's not always two. If there's no number there, it's always two. Yeah. Um, H, what is H? Ashley B. What is H? One, nice. What is K? Good. So where's my center at? One, negative two. It's always H comma K, Jimena, because I see that face you're making. It looks... Okay. So, hold on one second. One, negative two would be right here. Now, be careful. Because A is negative, it's going to go down from that center point. It's going to be, like, reflected. So it goes like this. So now, let's look at the domain. How far left does it go? One. Starts at one. How far right does it go? Now, domain, how low does it go? This is a little tricky. Does it ever stop going down? So where does it go if it keeps going down? Negative what? Yes. So the range starts at negative infinity. And how high does it go? What's that y value? And then if it only gets up to here. What is that y value? Negative 2. Good. Transformations would be right 1, down 2. It's going to have a reflect, and it's going to have a stretch of 2. I'm going to pause the video there because this video is going to be absolutely terrible. I apologize to those of you watching this at home on YouTube. I'm sorry. I tried my best. Let's see how bad.